there's there's so much information that you provided and, and additional information that you said now is is available um, that I think deserves fur further scrutiny. Um, I know the, uh, the lieutenant governor had referred us to the um, budget office and to DGS, um, I believe also in his response or um, that, that we'd received. So we're going to be following up with those those uh, departments in the Office of the Budget with DGS and Department of Budget, as I mentioned, or the uh, Office of the Budget. But it's, through your testimony and the information you provided showing the growth in the line items, I mean, certainly S Senator Scarnati deserves to be commended for during his time as the Senate pro tem and then filling in at the same time as Lieutenant Governor under those circumstances that had arisen to decrease spending one year by 73.8 and then the next by 31.8 percent um, to reduce spending you know from over a million dollars a year down to 650,000 the first year and 493,000 dollars the second years um, really is to be commendable or to be commended um, commendable actions by uh, by Senator Scarnati to reduce spending and the use of tax dollars there um, so, so for how he operated, filling both of those roles, you would think that even an incoming lieutenant governor um, wouldn't need to increase the budget uh, as drastically as we saw it jump back up. Mm -hmm. But even with it jumping back up to where it did under uh, Lieutenant Governor Cawley, it still was in the $800,000 range. And for the last two years, you know, we saw, we saw increases total over the last two years of 21.9%. Uh, to, take, to take the budget up over a million dollars again, where it was prior to Senator Scarnati stepping in, mm -hmm. um, and you know a two hundred and eighteen thousand dollar increase over the last two years. So I guess when you're planning on buying strip steaks and duck breast and crab meat, that uh, you need to increase the the budgetary spending. It's, it it seems. Um, but I mean, some of the things that you raised in your in your testimony, does the lieutenant governor approve every expenditure personally then? That's what I'm led to believe um, with the, the caucus newspaper reporting was that he actually did uh, approve those expenditures. Um, I think that was his chief of staff was quoted in an article that he had approved them, but more than just lieutenant governor approving them, that they were audited and um, they were also not found to have any issues within the audits. And, and what was reported was that somebody had indicated in your testimony, I believe, that uh, this, that uh, Lieutenant Governor um, rarely, they said, claimed that the $73,000 in purchasing card purchases are rarely for the Lieutenant Governor himself? Yes, that, that was one of the questions that I kept coming back to, then who's eating it? Right. Who's who's buying it? Who's it for? And it is reported that um, staff visiting dignitaries. Um, that's why we tried to look at the the cost of the food and look at per event. So just assuming that this isn't groceries for the lieutenant governor and his wife and whomever else is staying at the mansion. What 